Hi Sherry. <laughs> Hi Sherry. <laughs> Hi Sophie. Sherry here from Misty Dimness Soap. And today I am making soap cupcakes. Um, I did one batch already. I'm on a streak. Uh, I have four batches planned. And so I did one batch already, kind of fine-tuned all of my measurements and everything else that I needed to do. It looks like I'm going to need to open up another can of coconut milk. So to catch you guys up to speed with where I'm at, I've already made my soap frosting. And for that, I just do my regular uh, soap recipe. I make it the same way. I just make it first and then let it sit um, until I've made the base and poured the base. And so what we are doing here is I'm making the base now. So this is my regular recipe with coconut milk and I'm using for fragrance, a thousand wishes type from Micah's and more. And to this, I am going to add majestic purple from Micah's and more. And because my base is all going to be one color, I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all in if I can find my measuring spoon. I thought I was organized, but not so much, I guess. So that is majestic purple. And I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the stick blender quick before I add the lye solution. So we have gotten our soap batter to trace. This one's moving pretty quickly. I noticed that with the frosting too. Um, I don't think that Steph, when she tested this one, had any acceleration in my recipe. It is moving a bit fast and I soap at cooler temperatures, as you guys all know. Um, just uh, also because this is a, they're soap cupcakes, so they're a little bit different than what I normally do. This is a 30% lye solution. So a little less water than I usually work with. And we're gonna go ahead and get these guys, get this base poured into our mold liner. This is just a silicone baking mold. Of course, now that I've used it for soap, that's all I use this one for because I don't bake. That would be crazy, right? So yeah, this is pouring a bit thick. We'll get it kind of smoothed out, poured in. So I have all of my cupcakes poured. Um, I still need to fine tune my calculations a bit. I only wanted to pour nine, but I wound up with 10. So hopefully um, the scaling up of the frosting also goes as well. And speaking of frosting, let's get that out. And I'm gonna move this over to the side, just like that. All right. So here are our frosting colors. I have three. This is the first time I've ever done multiple colors in frosting. So this is the Magic Blue Mica from Micas and More. If you wanna see that, that's what it looks like in the bag. And then I have, it has pink. This is Flirt Pink from Mad Oils. I don't know if they still carry this one or not. If they do, I'll have it linked down below. And then our next color is purple. This is a different shade of purple than the base. This is the lavender mica from Micas and More. And I did do something a little bit different. I took some vegetable glycerin and I pre-mixed my colors for my frostings um, because I saw that it was thickening up quite a bit. And uh, that's why we have some funky bits here. But you can see it's it's pretty stiff stuff. It's thickened up nicely while we were making our base and getting our base poured and all that fun stuff. 
So we are ready to get this into a piping bag. And I found this super cool trick. Actually, somebody else found it and um, I decided to give it a whirl. Um, and I will leave a link below to that site that posted the original um, idea. But what it is, basically, is you take a really long, a much longer than you think you need piece of cling film and, or plastic wrap or saran wrap or whatever you want to call it. Um, so take, take a little bit longer than what you think you're going to need. If I can get it off, there we go. And plastic wrap, as you guys know, it always wants to stick to itself and nothing else. So we'll kind of get it screwed away here. Okay, so after you've fought with your saran wrap and realized that it works better if you take off your gloves. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna put at least one back on. I might, yeah, I'm gonna put both on. I'm just not comfortable working with soap batter without my gloves on. I'm such a messy person anyways. And I always have scratches and stuff from the cats. So I'm just not going to, I'm not going to risk it. So you want to leave the longer sides here and just put your soap batter for your frosting into the middle. And we might have to do this twice in order to get it all fit, all to fit. And I am going to put it in three sections. We'll kind of see how it goes here. Might be able to get it all in one. And I want to leave really, really long ends if I can. So if I can get it all, yeah, I might get it all in one. We'll see. This one might come back and bite me in the butt. Like I said, I've only done this once before and I've never done it with three colors. So the purpose behind this is to make frosting a little less messy because that is my least favorite part about doing soap cupcakes is that it always winds up being a huge mess. And I suppose if I need to, I can take a, whoa, flying soap batter. Um, I can take a second piece of saran wrap over this and I'm wrapping it. So there's my purple and I'm okay if they get a little mix it up. Good. Yep, I'm probably going to need to use two pieces of saran wrap for this. So, let's put our, our blue here in. And we'll get all this in. And I'm going to rip off that second piece that I was talking about. And I'll bring you back when I'm wrapping. Just a soap batter. I can just twist, put you back on camera here, twist each one of these ends until they're really long and skinny and tight is how we want to do that. Okay, beautiful. It's going to unwind a little bit. That's okay. And then we're going to grab our tips. So I'm going to go ahead and use a coupler tip. And what I'm using to frost with is a, uh, I can't read the brand, but it's an 826 is the number. I think it's a, t a Teco. Um, 826 is the tip number. Sorry, I don't know the Wilson equivalent, but I'm going to go ahead and take my coupler that goes inside my bag and I'm going to feed this end here, try to get back on screen, into the coupler and I discovered that makes it a bit easier to feed into the bag if you don't put the coupler in first and then you just feed it through your bag and pull through and then hopefully <laughs> our bag will fit this accommodate this huge blob of soap batter that we have Maybe we'll have to give it a little shaky shaky. And a little bit of a struggle struggle. And we're going to pull our bag up a bit. And we have a little bit of a leak. 
right there. So our bag isn't going to be quite as pristine as we would like it. And then I'm going to go ahead and feed my frosting tip through and feed my coupling screw attachment PC. I don't know what they're all called. So get that screwed on nice and tight so it doesn't blow off when we're squeezing our bag. Okay, there we go. And then, and then you guys, then we take our scissors and we pull this as tight as possible and cut and we should be able to get our soap out through there. So I'm gonna bring our, our soap cupcakes back. In all their messy glory. And this batter, even though it accelerated a bit on me, it's staying pretty nice and fluid. Oops, I got a little blob out already. All right, so here's how I do my soap cupcakes. Move you one step back so you guys can see. So I always start with a blob in the middle-ish. And this is a little bit loose yet. A little bit looser than I like. It should thicken up a bit, I think. I hope. And I put one dot in the middle of each. And I do this because one, it helps me make sure that I get the frosting all the way around the edge. So then I go back around, make sure my fat head isn't blocking. So that one got a little, little loose on me because I was checking the camera to make sure I was visible. Sorry, turned off my dehumidifier. So then I go all the way around there. Um, and the other reason I put that dab in the middle is so that my soap cupcakes are completely soaked. There's no hollow spots in my soap cupcakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of these and then I'll show you how I do the second go around. For the second go around, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just gonna go ahead right on top of that one piece that I already did and go around and make a top and smoosh on the top. I don't know how to put it in better words than that. But that's how I do it. Just go around and around and then make a smooshy on top. And obviously I still need to practice a bit more. And like I said, it has been forever since I made soap cupcakes simply because I don't like the mess, but this saran wrap method, I like it. It makes it so much easier. And I'm really happy with the way these three colors are coming out through it. Um, they will change a little bit as they cure out. So I suspect they'll be more vibrant. Um, we'll see tomorrow when I pop everybody out of the mold. And I'm going to finish these up and then I'll show you how we're going to finish off the cupcakes. Okay, so I got to the end of my bag. And you can kind of see my plastic wrap is starting to come through it at the end. So now to get it out, I'm going to go ahead and put on a glove. So now to get it out, I just reach in to the bag and I pull out that section of saran wrap that I left on the end. I just pull it out. And because I overfilled that bag a little bit, I really don't recommend doing as much as what I did in that one bag. Um, I did have a little bit of, of seepage, so not quite as mess-free as um, it should be, but still much, much, much better than what I usually do for soap cupcakes. 
So we'll do a little bit of cleanup on our tip and we should be good to go. So now to finish off these cup of cake is, I got one really squat one right there. Like I said, I'm a little rusty on the whole thing. So what I have, I have, these are cold process because I had, I had an odd amount of uh, master batch lye oils. It wasn't enough for any of my regular batch sizes. So I decided I would just make some cold process embeds and color and fill whatever I could fill. So I made, um, I made a bunch of balls. I made a bunch of lemons. I made a bunch of stars the other day. And so these cold process stars are just going to go, I'm not going to set it directly on top. I'm going to set it kind of to the side and I'll show you guys why here. Anyways, I like to cut mine in half. So to make it a little easier um, to use is why I split them in half, but to make it a little easier for me to split in half so I don't have to cut through a, an aged embed, I'm going to set it off to the side so I can kind of cut behind, behind the star on it. Um, so this fragrance was a request from the diva to get because it, it's just her favorite. And so I thought it would be fun to make these for kind of geared more towards younger girls. So they, they might like the soap, the, uh, cupcake format better. And then in here I have some stellar white mica from Micah's and more and the I believe it's lilac glitter I'll leave links for everything down below and I just have that in a spray duster bottle that I got I think I got this one from Wholesale Supplies Plus and I'm just gonna give these guys a bit of a, a shininess give them a pretty sparkle And I think it probably would have helped too for frosting if my frosting had set up a little bit more. It's kind of funny. Each batch is always different. Usually um, it's plenty of time when I make the base to get this set up, especially because I keep mine covered with paper towel. But anyways, here are our, um, I'm going to call these wish on a star cupcakes with a thousand wishes type. Fragrance. So thanks for watching. If you haven't commented below, let me know where you're from. Just leave me a comment saying, hey, I'm from Texas or wherever you're from. I'd love to know where you're checking in from. And if you haven't hit the uh, subscribe button, smash that baby and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Soapies and Sparkies. You can find my Facebook group also at Soapies and Sparkies. And you can find me online at amdsoap.com. I have a blog over there. I have uh, uh, my store over there. These will be part of the July 1st release. So you won't be able to get these guys till then. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay soapy, friends.